do a quick video on how to leave comments um, in Hypothesis in uh, Blackboard because I don't see any existing videos um, that just kind of walk you through very quickly anyway of the different ways to leave comments and interact with the tool. So uh, here's an article that I just posted in our Video Games as Literature course. Um, so you, it's Blackboard, when in doubt, click the title, right? Um, you click the title and then it will launch the tool and you'll be able to see the article uh, that your professor uploaded. Um, and you'll see this box on the side, which will eventually be full of comments from your classmates. So the basic way it works is, is really pretty simple. Uh, if this is in your way while you're reading, you can just click this little arrow up here and it will shut. And basically all it is is as you're reading along, if you see something um, that you want to comment on, uh, you just highlight it. Uh, you have the option to highlight it, which will literally just highlight it, um, or annotate, and usually professors are going to be wanting you to annotate. Um, they may have a certain amount of times they want you to comment. Um, so you click annotate, the little box is going to come back over, um, and you put whatever comment that you're going to put in there. You have some formatting options. Uh, if you want to use them, you can preview your comment, all of this. Uh, before you post the comment, one thing to point out is that you can um, post to the class, which is the default setting, or you can make comments that are for quote unquote only me or only your eyes. So if you do want to make notes that are purely just for you, that you don't want anybody else to be able to read or be able to see, um, you can change it to only me. Uh, just make sure this setting uh, stays. So if I do make a private comment, when I go to make a new comment, you'll see that it's still set to only me. So if you do make any private comments for yourself, just make sure that you switch it back to your class uh, so that your professor and your classmates can see your comments. Um, if you are not the first student in the document, you will be able to see everybody's comments who came before you. Uh, and everywhere that they have made a comment you know, will be highlighted. Uh, if this is distracting to you and you want to kind of get a clean read yourself uh, first before um, making any comments or maybe you want to make comments but you want to make them without knowing what others have said, uh, you just hit this little I button and it will make all the highlights disappear um, so you won't be able to see uh, where comments are and then of course you can just shut this little box and it's like you're reading uh, the document. You're the only one reading the document. Uh, you can't see the highlights. Um, when you're ready and you want to see all those highlights again uh, so that it's just easier to see where people have already commented, you just turn the little eye back on and you'll be able to see the highlight again. Uh, now say that you want to interact with um, different students or different comments, you want to have conversations, you want to answer questions, you want to reply to something someone said, you can do that. Um, there's different ways to find the comments. Uh, one is obviously they'll all show up over here. I'm just going to type something in there real quick. Um, so they'll all show up over here. You have um, a search feature so you can search for a keyword. Show me all the comments with Hello. Um, you can reorganize newest, oldest, or by location. Location is probably, um, probably the best one to start with because it, it puts them in the order that they were actually happening in the document. Um, and then newest to oldest, if, if you are a professor, this is uh, nice if you've already gone in and, and graded people's comments uh, and you just kind of want to see, or you've already read them, you just want to see what the newest comments are, um, then that's when I set it to newest when i am read most all of the comments and I'm just looking for those final comments to read maybe before class. Um, but location's usually best. Um, there's also this open notebook option which will just open um, all the comments and you can change it to I just want to see me or I just want to see everybody or I want to see a certain person. I think maybe professors can only pick by certain people. Sorry. 
Anyway, if you want to comment on somebody's comment, um, you just hit the little reply button. Uh, on somebody else's comment, you won't see the pencil and the delete. That's only for your own comments that you can edit it if you need to or delete it if you must. Um, but reply uh, will reply. You can even reply to your own comment or you can reply to somebody else's comment. Um, another kind of cool feature um, is if you click, uh, it's not going to look as cool because I only have a few comments on here, um, is if you click this, it will show you anybody who commented on that sentence or in that area. So it'll delete all the other comments so that you can see only the comments that's relevant to the highlighted section, um, which sometimes could be a few people. Um, another cool thing, uh, whenever you do this, make sure you hit this button up here, show all, um, so that you can go back to seeing everybody's comments. Um, you can also click the comment itself, so maybe you're scrolling over here on this side and you see a comment, and maybe the student or the commenter did, didn't highlight um, an entire sentence or entire, uh, maybe they just grabbed like two or three words. Um, if you click it, it will auto scroll the screen to where that comment is. Um, so no matter where you are in the document, I click the comment and it auto scrolls to where that um, comment happened. So you can actually go and then read the context around that comment. There's also always a copy, as you can see right here, um, of what it is that was highlighted. I will say that some of the text recognition, if your professor is using a PDF, um, is not always the greatest. <laughs> um, and so sometimes it looks like jumbled text over here. Um, and that's just because whatever program uh, was trying to recognize um, the text or recognize the words couldn't, couldn't read it. Uh, but that's another reason that this feature is handy because um, if it is a PDF of, say, a book and, and the words are readable over here but they're slightly bent, they're not going to show up here. And so you can click it again to see what they actually look like. Um, I think that that's it uh, for the most part. I think the one thing I didn't comment is on page notes. Uh, page notes are not linked. You don't have to um, highlight anything. They're not linked to a specific place. They just tend to be comments that you want to make maybe about the article overall. Um, and so if you have any page notes to make, you can click that. And then you can toggle up here between I want to see um, annotations, which are the comments that are linked to text, and page notes, which are not linked. They don't have any location. All right. Um, Quick professor note, it will always say out of 10. <laughs> um, it's okay if you want it to be worth a different number. Um, so in the grade book, uh, when you're setting up the assignment, you can make it any amount of points you want, but just make sure you're always entering the grade out of 10. Um, otherwise, that's just, like I said, a very quick um, explanation on how to use Hypothesis within Blackboard. Um, so if you're a little confused and you're seeing it for the first time, that's most of all of what you need to know. Good luck!